What are you doing? I'm putting T-Rex arms on my Coca-Cola because I think it's going to be really strong. <laughs> Coke Zero plus coffee. We finally found it. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, when we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So anybody who's been watching our channel knows Rachel loves coffee. Just a little bit. And um, I'm kind of a soda addict, although I'm really working hard to not have my soda. And uh, Coke came out with this zero sugar, which was very difficult to find. It's Coke plus coffee. And I don't believe if from everything I've seen, they're using aspartame, which really like surprises me. And yeah. I'm happy about that. So we did try the Coke energy drink and really wasn't a fan of that. It wasn't super great. And yeah, I am super- It was medicine -y. I'm excited that this isn't Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. and coffee, but it's supposed to be Coke Zero, which I tend to like even more. Right. And coffee. But yeah, it was so hard to find this. We found full Coke. All of the stores, have, in fact, coffee. Sam's Club and Costco and BJ's are all selling cases of the Coke with coffee, but not the zero the sugar. Zero. And it's very difficult, especially because like, look at that one. So the only way you know, they all have this black ring around the top, even the regular one. Yeah. They have a ring around the top that makes you think it's zero, but you have to look for where it says zero sugar. Well, and the calories. And everything else, like it says zero sugar here, but the regular ones, it's very difficult to figure out which ones are which. You really have to look hard. Now, I think yeah. they have four flavors, but I was in Publix and I found two of them. I rode my bicycle to return something at Whole Foods through, for Amazon because you can you can do the drop off. Yeah, and it was a seven mile bike ride in each direction. How funny! Because now I mean these don't not weigh anything. No, I had my little two kk backpack with me because that's what I carried everything to you know Whole Foods with, and I'm like I'm gonna run into Publix over here and see if they have it, and lo and behold. They had them. And we waited till the next day to put them in the refrigerator. Yeah, they were on a regular shelf. But also for them to settle down because after they've been on a seven mile bike ride, we could have had like a shaking up thing. Yeah. Okay, so we have two flavors, dark blend and vanilla. Which one are we going with first? I don't know. I'm thinking I'll dark blend. Choose. Dark blend first. Okay. I'm so excited. I really hope that it's good. That we find the it best to be good. one I get to finish and the other one you can have. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Oh, wait until you smell it. I was Before like, you, Coke. It doesn't smell like Coke. Oh, wait. Me. It it smells like coffee candy. Yeah. Do you remember those coffee candies? It, Not nips. They were like coffee candies. It smells like instant coffee to me. Coke and instant coffee. Okay, so for me, the front end is Coke and the back end is coffee. I don't know. I'm I'm seeing it woven together. Okay. Wow, that is good. Let me have a sip before you drink it all. That is good. Dang. Wait, now, now actually, I'm going to reverse that. The front end is coffee. The back end is Coke. As soon as it hits your tongue, you're like, coffee. But I, I would say like a sweetened coffee. Not, not, I don't think instant coffee, but I don't think... Like regular coffee, it's like a coffee candy. It does. It tastes. It tastes to me like a coffee candy, like Coke and coffee nips together. Yes, man, they are dancing in there. I need one more sip. Well, well. <sighs> mm. Wow. Yeah. I'm afraid we haven't gotten to number four yet. Instant, instant touch to the tongue is coffee, like mm. coffee candy, and followed up by a Coke Zero flavor. All right, I'm going in for vanilla. Less. I feel like a wine connoisseur. Less, less Let smell. It breathe. Smell that though. The dark, you really smell. The dark, you really smell. I don't really smell anything. I don't either. The 
That tastes like nothing. Okay. Dark. If you like, if you know you, what this tastes like? It tastes like vanilla Coke. Yeah. Like you go to the store and you buy the, you know, they have the that vanilla Coke. It doesn't taste like coffee at all to me. I don't mm. have a coffee taste at all. Yum. Enjoy that. I mean, a subtle, a subtle, subtle hint. But dark. if you're looking for the coffee, dark blend. you got to go with dark blend. Five wow. things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based wow. on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. We're going to start off with number one. I have a feeling they're all the same ingredients, but I got to do it to the side. Yeah. Okay. So the ingredients are carbonated water, less than 2% of coffee powder, natural flavors, caffeine, sucralose, caramel coloring, phosphoric acid, acesulfame potassium, sodium benzate, and potassium sorbate to protect taste. I'm honestly impressed. Like these ingredients for Coke yeah. are pretty decent. I mean, I'm okay with sucralose. I know some people yeah, aren't some people okay don't with like sucralose. It. I personally don't have a problem with it. Honestly, I mean, you have acesulfate and potassium, which some people may have an issue with that. I mean, you're gonna find that in like bangs and stuff, but there's no aspartame, which I'm really happy about. And um, the worst thing, honestly, in here is caramel coloring. Yeah, I wish that all of the soda manufacturers like Coke would kind of take a note from Zevia and see, like, we don't need it. Yeah. We don't need a color. We're drinking it. And we're imagining in our mind that it is a dark color because coffee is a dark color. Right. But I just find it really funny, you know, Natural flavors hide so much, right? Because there's natural flavors. There's really nothing natural about this coffee and Coke combination. There's nothing natural about natural flavors. And you can hide so much in it. I'm used to when we do, you know, a product review that if it's a, you know, chocolate flavor, it's going to have cocoa in it versus a vanilla flavor is going to have vanilla. And there's no difference in the ingredients between no, the two. But there's a huge difference in, in the, the taste. Flavor. I'm giving you the rest of that because I will you. finish that. It is so good. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? It's sweating a little bit. Yeah. So a serving size is one can, mm -hmm. zero calories, zero fat, zero protein, less than one uh, carb. So I would say this a one carb. is zero carbs. Yeah, but this one tastes good. So <laughs> I would go with a one carb, right? It's got more coffee in it. Yeah. Um, so one carb per can, which is fine. Um, you're not expecting nutrition out of here. No. This, this isn't going to fuel your day. This is just fun. And, and like we say with everything, uh, even though it says zero, it does have natural flavors. Natural flavors can contain carbohydrates. I would always count it as one carb no matter what. Um, it's really, I'm again, I'm pretty impressed with it. As I drink this more, so it definitely tastes more like vanilla Coke. I'm mean, gonna be taking another good swig. I did. Um, I tried. You get a little bit of coffee on the back end, but mm -hmm. nothing like this one. No. Like I would not. I mean, I have two more cans of this one. Enjoy because I just bought them. Um, well, you're sharing. There's two more cans of that one and two more cans of that one. So you can have one of the other cans because I'm definitely drinking one. Because who knows I when think, we're gonna find these things again? I think Joe's going on another bike ride <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> Number three. How do they taste? I'm really impressed. This one is so interesting. I mean, I think it's just a fun thing to have, like, as a special treat. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even think it's something that, you know, I would want to drink every day. I think it's just... I would. It's more like a conversation starter. I enjoy my regular coffee, but this is just really fun. It's fun. I like the taste of it, especially that one. This yeah. one's growing on me, but not as much as that one. That just tastes like vanilla Coke. Yeah, no, I'm getting hints of coffee, it's but not it's, bad. Not as, it's not as much. And for me, if you're going to drink this, you're going to want more of the coffee, especially because of number four, which is how much do how they much cost? How much does it cost? Okay, so I got these at Publix and they were on sale for two for three dollars, but oh. the regular price was two dollars. But okay, you're like, ah, oh. not so bad. I mean, it's cheaper than a bang, but it's smaller. But than it's a bang. much smaller. And by the way, there doesn't seem to be a lot of caffeine in here at all. So you know, it's it's not like getting a big giant energy drink. No. It's just kind of like a fun thing to have. Yeah. So a dollar fifty is gonna make me think about drinking it every single day. Cause again, that's the sale price. Right. 
And like, I've never been one to go into a store and buy a 16 ounce bottle of Coke or a 16 ounce bottle of water and spend like $1.52 when I know at home I can get it for cents or buy a 12 pack and get it for cents. So I have a question. Okay. Do you think that if we just mixed Coke Zero and some really strong coffee, would we be able to do this, make this? I think you would, but... I feel like there's more, I haven't looked at a can of Coke Zero in a while, but I feel like there's worse ingredients in a can of Coke Zero. Oh, which okay. Which kind of like makes me question things, but you know, I don't know. We could try it. Let's let's try to make our own Coke Zero with coffee. We got to try it at least. So number five, would we recommend it? If you want something fun, you're yeah. a big coffee drinker and you find it, that's yeah. the biggest issue make sure you're getting the one that says zero sugar if you're the coffee drinker in the family get the dark blend mm -hmm. because it's still sweet like if you're somebody who likes your coffee kind of light and sweet right you're not going to be upset you know a lot of times if someone likes milk chocolate over dark chocolate right and then you recommend dark chocolate and they're like ooh, bitter there's not a bitterness to this. It's very sweet. Yeah. I don't think you'd be upset with it, but this is the only way you're going to taste I will coffee. say, as the person who is more of a soda drinker, and when I was drinking soda, like I was drinking Coke Zero. I liked Coke Zero over Pepsi. Now, I mean, I just really like Zevia now, uh, but it is not as sweet as regular Coke Zero. No. It's definitely cut down on the sweetness, well, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, overall, yeah, I would say I recommend it if you want to just try something fun. I don't know if I drink it every single day. But I don't think not, it's ever good to have it every single day. It's not like $8 a can. No, but I would say, again, just remember that the acid sulfur and potassium could possibly um, not spike your glucose, but could elevate insulin a little bit. Uh, which there's no way to really measure at home. So I would drink it more like when you are prepared to break a fast, if you are going to. Like I wouldn't do it like just like drink a bunch of them all day long because then your body is never going to actually be resting its you know insulin levels. I have a hilarious disclaimer. What? We are not affiliated with Coke. <laughs> They're not paying us for this review. Can you imagine? Oh my gracious. Well, that is going to be today's video. Let us know down in the comment section if you have tried the Coke Zero with coffee, especially if you've tried the other two flavors, which again, we have not found yet. I haven't yet. found it yet. So let us know down in the comment section. Also, let us know what is your favorite energy drink if you do drink energy drinks? Because we used to like Bang, but... I don't know, Bang kind of like winds this up way too much now. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it kind of turns my stomach a little bit and I still feel tired afterwards, which is weird. It's like, I'm, I'm loopy and tired. How did they accomplish that? Let us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something that's awesome, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.